My name is Trent Burmish and I'm the engineering manager at Wisconsin Lighting Lab. Today we are going to talk about our Legrand motion photo sensor. Um, we're going to go through um, our high bay settings and how to do some simple adjustments on the app. All right, so first thing you're going to want to do once you get your light fixtures installed is install the Legrand sensor configuration app. Um, it's easy to find on your um, app store or Google Play Store. It's, you can use it for your iPhone or an Android device. Once you're in the app, you can um, go to Discover Device and you'll see a list of every device that's within range of the phone that you're using. Um, in this case, we've labeled it as Test. Um, you can set a job site and you would want to do that based on different rooms um, that you're lighting or different areas. You can create a job site so that all of the devices are associated with that job site. Um, once you do that, you can select a password to create um, so nobody else can access the sensors. Um, we're just going to go to a no job site password and You'll notice on the screen that it says after seven days um, without a job site associated with it, the Bluetooth functionality will actually shut off to limit access to the sensor. Once you've um, gone to that fixture, it'll cycle off and on so that you can know that you're using the correct fixture. So once you're in the app, you have a couple of options. You can upload a profile that you've previously set up or you can go in and configure the light that you're dealing with right now. Um, our typical high bay is set up with low mode at two volts. Low mode is gonna be the what the light goes to when there's no motion. So your time delay is set for 15 minutes and low mode will be set for two volts. High mode is gonna be at 100%. Um, that's when motion is detected, the fixture will go to 100%. Time delay, when it arrives to you, will be set at 15 minutes. And the cutoff will be set for 15 minutes as well. When you've changed the setting in the app, it grays out and you'll notice that on the app screen. And any fixtures that you've already adjusted will also become gray on the screen so that you know you've already changed the settings on that particular fixture. Um, sensitivity, we re recommend leaving at high just in, so that all motion will get picked up. Um, if you find that it's going off for no reason, it could be picking up motion from something in the building. Maybe a fan is blowing something and it's just picking up that motion. You can adjust sensitivity to try to make that not happen. We also recommend having the ramp up be enabled just so that the on and off cycle isn't so abrupt. Um, just makes it more pleasant. And once you've got all your settings how you want them, you will just hit upload. If you know you want to use these settings on multiple fixtures, you're going to want to click on the save as profile and name the profile. So we're going to go ahead and upload and you'll get a confirmation on screen that the configuration has been uploaded to your fixture. So that's how you do basic setup of the Wattstopper and thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.